Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all the best money methods to be doing this week in GTA 5 Online to make yourself millions and millions of dollars very easily. So in total, I'm going to be showing you six different money methods all in this one video. That being said, if you're going to enjoy, don't forget to go down below and drop a like on it for me. But now let's get into the very first money method. I'm not sure how many of you actually still do the daily buried stashes and also the shipwrecks that spawn in every single day on the Cayo Perico Island in GTA 5 Online. But this week, you should definitely be doing them because they are paying triple money and triple RP this week. To even get things started, you need to make sure that you have the Kyle Perico heist available. So if you don't already have it, what you need to do is walk up to your heist board inside of the Kosatka and start up the Kyle Perico heist. Once you start it up, what you need to do next is start up the Gather Intel mission. Once you took the plane from the Gather Intel mission over to the Kyle Perico island, what you then need to do is find both locations for the buried stashes and also both locations for the shipwrecks. As you can see right here, this website actually shows you the daily locations of the buried stashes and also the shipwrecks in GTA 5 Online. So if you want to use this website, I'll have a link down below in the description. So whenever you are in the area around wherever the shipwreck location is located at, that is when you should start to hear some bells. And if you are wondering what that sounds like, here's how it sounds right here. So once you do hear those bells, that is how you know you are super close to the chest. And once you do find the chest, simply go up to it, click right D-pad, and just like that, you'll simply be opening it, picking up a coin, and after that, you'll be rewarded with $25,000. So from here, we can actually go find the next chest location and keep in mind for these treasure chests, there's going to be one on land and also one underwater. So since my first location was on land, my second location is now going to be underwater. And don't worry, these underwater ones are not that hard to do. It is the exact same concept. Literally just swim around until you hear those bells. And once you hear those bells, you should be really close to the chest. And once you do find the chest, go up to it, click right D-pad. And just like that, you'll be rewarded with another $25,000. So now that we got our two shipwreck locations, we should have got $50,000 in total. And now we can go find the two buried stash locations. Finding the two buried stash locations are really easy because all you need to do is open up the map. And then these two question mark circles on the map are going to be both of the buried stash locations. So go over to whichever one you want to go over to first. Once you are in the white circle, simply whip out your metal detector. And then wherever the blue bars are starting to light up the most, walk towards that direction because that is where the berry stash is most likely going to be at and as you can see once you find it it is literally going to be a pile of sand once you find that pile of sand walk up to it and then click right d-pad once you click right d-pad your character should now be unburying the stash and once he fully unburies it you'll then be rewarded with $75,000 for the first buried stash and the next buried stash is literally the exact same process once you are inside the white circle whip out your metal detector and then walk towards wherever the blue bars are starting to light up the most once you start to walk towards that direction you should see a pile of sand once again walk up to that pile of sand once you see it and then click right d-pad and then you'll be unburying the stash and once again you'll be rewarded with another $75,000. And just like that, once you finish getting both of the buried stashes, you should have got a total of $150,000. And if you got both of the chest locations before this, you should have got a total of $200,000 in total after getting all four of those different locations. And you can do this literally every single day in GTA 5 Online, getting all four of these different locations on the Kyle Perico Island. But just keep in mind, it is only going to be paying this much money, triple money and triple RP this week. All right, now getting into the next money method, I am now going to be showing you how to earn $101,000 in only one minute. If you want to do this, simply open up your pause menu and head over to this exact location at the Maze Bank Arena where this week's regular time trial is located at. Once you get over here, call out your fastest motorcycle that you own and drive it on top of the time trial. From here, click right D-pad, but stay still and open up the pause menu. From here, go all the way up here to where the checkpoint is at and mark it. Once you've marked it, drop the pause menu, open up the phone, click where it says job list and then exit out of the time trial just like so. From here, click right D-pad to start the time trial and immediately go through this little intersection here and then cut this corner. Once you cut that corner and are on the main road, what you then need to do is follow this main road all the way down, trying your best to go as fast as you possibly can while also trying your best to dodge traffic. 
and as long as you were going as fast as you possibly could and didn't crash here is exactly how much money you get once you beat the time trial as i said one hundred and one thousand dollars for only one minute of simply driving over to a destination make sure you definitely do it this week getting into the next money method i am now going to be showing you a really fun money method and also easy money method that literally any player can start up and do in gta 5 online so if you want to do it first of all open up the pause menu go over to online then click jobs then play job then rockstar created and then adversary mode and you want to look for the adversary modes right here called sumo remix as you can see, every single Sumo Remix adversary mode this entire week is going to be paying double money and double RP, so start up whichever one of these you want to. Okay, so for the settings of this game mode, I recommend setting the number of teams set to either 2 or 3. I think 4 teams is just too much, but anyway, after that, go down to where it says Team Balancing, set that to On, then go down to where it says First to Win, and set that to 4 Rounds. Then go down here to where it shows the vehicle lock class and you can set this to whatever vehicle lock class you want to. I personally like using the supercars. I'm pretty sure that every single person watching this video has played the Sumo Remix Adversary Mode, but in case you have not played it before, let me quickly explain it to you. So the way that this game mode works is pretty simple. There is going to be a safe zone, which is going to be a blue circle. As you can see, it is right there in front of me. And once we are inside the blue circle, what we then need to do is try to ram every single person that is not on our team out of the blue circle. Because what you need to do is try to take out as many people as you can on the other team. And the best way to do that is by the end of the timer at the top middle of your screen. That is actually when the blue circle is going to finish. And whoever is outside of that blue circle by the end of the timer is going to blow up. So that is basically all you need to do. Try to ram as many people as you can out of the blue circle while also trying your best to stay inside the blue circle yourself, or you can simply ram them off of the entire map. Anyway, cutting straight to it, here is exactly how much money you get paid every single time that you win a round in this game mode. As you can see, we were the match winner. First place team gets paid just under $15,000 and 1800 RP, and the second place team gets paid just under $9,000 and 1200 RP. Anyway, cutting straight to the very end though, here is exactly how much money I got paid. As you can see, $92,000 and also 6,120 RP, which is definitely not that bad as far as RP is concerned. Concerned. Anyway, if you ask me, I think that is a pretty decent amount of money to earn, especially considering the fact that literally anybody can start this money method up and it is really fun to play as well. Alright, now getting into the next money method, I am now going to be showing you how to earn $252,000 in only 2 minutes. If you want to do this, simply open up your map and then head over to this exact location over here at the Ron Alternates Wind Farm where this week's HSW time trial is located at. Once you get over here, call out your fastest HSW vehicle, get inside of it and then drive it on top of the HSW time trial and then click right d-pad. From here stay still but open up the pause menu and then go all the way down here to where the checkpoint is located at and then mark it. Once you've marked it drop the pause menu open up your phone and then click where it says job list and then exit out of the time trial just like so. From here whenever you are ready click right d-pad to start the HSW time trial and then follow this dirt road all the way over to this side road. Once you're on this side road take it all the way over to the freeway and then once you are on the freeway it is literally super simple from there. All you need to do is follow the waypoint exactly as it shows you on your screen, making sure that you are going as fast as you possibly can while also trying your best not to crash. And as long as you did not crash and beat the time trial in time, here is exactly how much money you get paid. As I said, $252,000. Which if you ask me, I think is very good money for only two minutes of simply driving over to a destination. Make sure you definitely do it this week. And now getting into the very last money method of today's video, this is not really going to be a money method. I just wanted to let you know of a opportunity that you can all take advantage of to earn a free $100,000 this week. And that is by doing this week's weekly challenge in GTA 5 Online. It is pretty simple. All you need to do is simply create a job in the creator and then you'll receive a free $100,000 for doing so. And to me, this literally just looks like they want a whole bunch of people to start making custom jobs in GTA 5 Online. That way they can start adding them to the community series job section because as you can see at the very end, they also said to remember to tag hashtag community series so they can check out the job that you made. But either way, even 
even if they don't include your job in the game in the community series job section, you'll still be earning a free $100,000 as long as you created a job. And yeah, that is now going to be the very end of today's video. Now you know all of the best money methods you should be doing this week in GTA 5 Online to earn yourself millions and millions of dollars very easily. Of course, if you want on to enjoy today's video and you still haven't already, please do me a favor by going down below and dropping a like on the video. And of course, if you aren't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on. That way you never miss out on a future GTA 5 Online video just like this one. But until next time, I will see you all in my very next video. Peace.